My wow ticker is already connected and yet it's not reading my heartbeat. Let's connect this to the Bluetooth. Uh, it should be this way. The, the light appears on the other side. It's a blinking blue. There you see the blinking blue connecting to Bluetooth. Now it's connected. Let's go through the Wahoo ticker sensor parts to get a better understanding on how the signal, pulse or heartbeat in this case, is read. I'm showing you here the front view. Flip it to see what's on the other side of the strap. Notice the rubber pads on each side. They are the sensors connected to the ticker unit through the metal snap connectors on each side of the battery compartment. On the top side of the unit, Wahoo facing outward, are the LED indicators. Red for sensor reading and blue for Bluetooth connection. On setup, both will be solid. Blinking blue means it is establishing connection. And blinking red means it is able to read the signal. When I touch this, it reads my pulse. Release the right, release the left. Let me attach this. And I'm going to show you, this is the sensor covered with the rubber. If I touch this with my thumb, to read my pulse in the other end. So now I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, okay, you see that red blink? It's reading my pulse. Okay, and if I do it with the right, holding both, it's reading the pulse. If I remove this, Put my thumb there, hold one rubber, so the first time I tried this, this is kind of, this is loose, that's why it just shows NA, that's what, that's how I figured this out, remember? These are the sensors. Um, of course, I, I remove my shirt then to put this on. It's not getting the reading that I need. So, first thing first, if you think that this is dirty, then uh, wipe this with some wet tissue or alcohol. So, I'm Let's. back. Let's do that. Um, I wet this with warm water and just clean this up. I already did but just showing you what I did already. I'm just recording it for the video and as well as this. Now that we understand where the sensors are coming or are being sent. And this is this adjustment is kind of loose. I'm going to tighten it a little bit. I know how tight I want it. So, there. Yeah, it's up to here. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. And let's not do it. Just right. It doesn't hurt me. And I put it right. Um, on my chest. Okay, let's connect the phone, the exercise, and we'll try it. Now let's go to the application, Wahoo Fitness. I'm gonna use, I have this boxing heavy bag, but I'm just gonna do skipping rope. So so here you go, workout, 
it's already connect uh, it's NA BPM oh it's already 77 BPM so it's already reading it 74 so let me record this as you so that you can see it okay it's being recorded now so it's now reading my um, heartbeat 75 so I'm gonna do some workout not boxing really <laughs> more of uh, just to show the heartbeat chains I'm gonna do a skipping rope see uh, I'm at 96 92 see that 101 so that means now I I'm resting and it's gonna go down obviously um, so it's at 96 95 now let me remove this just to show you something okay now as I've told you these are the sensors these two here and connected to this unit with this metal so I'm gonna connect this and that's why if I connect this let's see I'm connecting this with one one pulse here so I can show you the phone my pulse is at 93 right now there and uh, let me remove this now it's NA and if I touch this and uh, so I'm touching this sensor here and this metal here it's reading again so there you go folks You've, I've already shown you the difference way the different ways of sending the signal more importantly keep this clean if you're not if you're getting an NA keep this clean and make sure that you have adjusted this not too loose not too tight just just right by pulling this away from each other like that okay and then if I put it in my shirt if I put this in my shirt it's not gonna get a signal I don't think see it's snugly fit but because of the cloth it's not getting the signal it's NA and that's why this is important to touch your skin it's not that sensitive so I'm, I'm touching it with my thumb and it's reading a signal 93 if I use one hand I'm just gonna take this out put this I'm just gonna use one hand there see this so it's reading the pulse of my thumb and it's reading it 93 and if I remove one put this see I'm holding this metal here and I'm gonna hold this I've already shown you that it's reading again it's at 92 there you go folks